Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rainway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 7th, 2021. Well, happy Friday, everyone. We had a good day yesterday with a nice market surge, and we have jobless numbers, or excuse me, jobs numbers just around the corner. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, Let's settle in, buckle up, take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information on how we might want to approach the market today on the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. I hope you all had a great afternoon and you're ready for a potentially volatile morning in the market with jobs data. We had a warning last night, um, yesterday afternoon, I should say, from the Fed suggesting that rising asset prices are posing a significant risk to the economy. Um, they are suggesting that there could be a substantial downside coming in the market if this um, rally continues. So, we have kind of a double-edged sword here this morning. We have uh, f uh, government pumping money into the market, easy Fed policies, um, uh, no surprise that asset prices are rising. And now the Fed is starting to become just a little bit concerned about inflation. This morning, the number coming out will be the jobs data number. And that jobs um, employment situation number is now expected to come in and top over 1 million new jobs created in April. Now, the problem with that is that is obviously a very good number, but that could certainly create some concern that the market is overheating and we have a little bit of worry on that um, that could occur if that number comes in hot. So interesting day today for us and a challenging day today for us to try to decide how we move forward. Let's take a look at the technicals. First off, if we take a look at the Dow, our trend is certainly bullish. And yesterday, the bulls just came roaring in, particularly at the end of the day, right at the end of the day, they really rushed in um, to push us up here at the end of the day. So we've spiked up here, broke out confidently through new record highs. And this morning, at least ahead of the jobs number in the pre-market, the bulls are pushing um, higher still. So we're trying to stretch that Dow on up. Trend is definitely bullish, so we wanna stay with the bullish trend as long as that trend continues. However, heading into the weekend, uh, it may be, it's always wise to consider whether or not the risk of the weekend um, is worth holding um, positions or if you want to start lightening up heading into the weekend. So consider that. But right now, Dow, very, very bullish. No signs of pulling back yet. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY also had a good day yesterday, but it didn't quite make the breakout. However, this morning, it looks like they're trying to do that. Uh, depends on where you draw this trend on the chart, but we are certainly, there's no doubt about it, our trend is bullish and we continue to remain bullish in the chart, albeit we've been in a very, very choppy consolidation pattern. So yesterday, right at the end of the day, particularly, we had a major surge um, up in that chart and we came very, very close to breaking this top up in here and maybe setting a new record. As a matter of fact, we're pushing here this morning. It is entirely possible that we could see a new record uh, high set in the SPY this morning, depending on how the market reacts to that jobs number th today. So watch that closely. We're definitely within striking distance. Now, the other thing I wanna remind you of is just how substantial a pullback could be just to test support if for some reason that jobs number creates a stumble in the market. Could be a rather painful pullback. So we wanna be a little bit careful about rushing in first thing this morning, watching that price action very carefully and just in case there happens to be that chance of a pop in 
a pop and drop as we approach these highs. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ is our problem child um, in the market. And this morning we have bonds trying to edge a little bit higher um, in anticipation of the jobless number. And we have a problem here in the NASDAQ. First, we broke this price support. We've talked about this before. We broke that price support. We left behind a double top pattern. And although we did get a nice rally in the NASDAQ yesterday, notice that we really didn't break back up through that trend um, that we broke the other day in the chart. We are very, very close in the SPY, and we've tested a couple times down here, uh, very, very close to testing the 50-day moving average. So we do have to keep in mind that possibility. If the number comes in hot and inflation worries start to increase with that Fed warning, then we're going to have to watch carefully for that possibility that we could tag resistance in here someplace and then turn back lower. Now, let's hope that doesn't occur unless you're unless you're a bear in the market. But there is um, there is some risk here, and, and and this continues to be a little bit of a problem. And remember, if those um, big techs don't move higher, it may be really, really difficult for the SPY to push on out because uh, seven big techs um, basically account for 40% of the SPY weight. So just keep that in mind and watch that close. This continues to be our problem child and may ultimately be... Um, the, the one that leads us lower if that is going to begin. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM also has a little bit of a problem in the chart, but right at the end of the day, we had a massive surge here in IWM and we pushed back up with a nice little hammer pattern. And if I were to draw this trend, we're trying to grab on. We'd failed that trend yesterday, but we are grabbing that trend right at the end of the day with a nice little hammer pattern. And we're trying to push through this morning in the pre-market. Let's keep in mind that we still have that price resistance in the chart and that price resistance runs all the way over into here. So it is a relatively significant price resistance, but the way the market acts here lately, it's just, just all or nothing. We could certainly blow through that pretty easily um, with enough energy um, if that jobs number inspires that. So watch that carefully but we do have a little bit of a problem going on. And then we still have this uh, downtrend in the chart that could also affect us resistance-wise. So if we can get through there, keep in mind that there is some resistance up there to deal with. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at the VIX. You know, it's one of those really perplexing things that... Um, setting new record highs and surging like we did at the end of the day, we would expect that the VIX, that fear would have just dropped out of the bottom here on um, the VIX, but it didn't. Um, as a matter of fact, we're still holding on to this little uptrend, short-term uptrend here. And although we did pull back, notice yesterday, we were actually spiking um, um, early on yesterday and we were testing um, this resistance level in the chart. So there's still that little bit of, hmm, what what comes next kind of thing in the chart. The good news is, is we're still holding that downtrend in the chart. So there's just that, you know, little bit of uncertainty. Which way are we going to go today based on that jobs number? Watch that closely. And I mentioned this before, as we continue to uh, set new record highs in the market, we really should be seeing the VIX dropping here. And that so far just hasn't been the case. If this were to rally through that uh, 20 area here in the VIX and hold up here or hold this downtrend as support, that could be the real problem for the market. That's where real selling could begin. 
So watch that closely, plan your risk carefully, and, and just stay focused. Let's hope that that fear drops out and we can actually see a little bit more calmness in the market. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, unfortunately, T2122 isn't gonna help us out much today. At one point in time yesterday, as we were selling, we were down in this area on T2122, but by the end of the day, with those bulls rushing in, particularly at the end of the day, we rallied back up nicely. Now, remember, T2122 doesn't give us a directional um, look at the market. It just tells us whether we have opportunity to move up and down or if we're overbought or oversold. So keep in mind, T2122, where we stand now, shows us that we do have upside opportunity here if we can get um, enough energy, um, follow through energy from that jobs number, we could certainly surge on higher catch new record highs. We also have to consider if the market were to stumble, um, the worries from the Fed and things like that could create um, that sell-off in here that could move us substantially lower as well. So we want to just keep that in mind. We're kind of sitting on the middle of the fence. Market's trying to figure out what's going on here. And then if we take a look at our T2101, I got to tell you, guys, this one still gives me considerable concern that we can set new record highs and see our market breadth continuing to decline so dramatically. Um, that bothers me a little bit. Uh, we'll have to watch this today. One of the things we don't wanna see is if a selling wave were to begin, meaning a profit-taking wave, if a selling wave, a, a market correction were to begin and we see that market breadth start to spike up, we don't wanna see a big breadth increase on a wave, selling wave. Um, hopefully that doesn't occur, but it is just interesting to me that as we rally, we cannot get market breadth to uh, move with it. So watch that pretty closely. A little bit of concern there. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, I've mentioned it several times already, the big Mac Daddy of the day is going to be the employment situation number. Um, analysts estimates are more than 1 million jobs created in the month of April. Now the question becomes, how will the market react to that data? Will it react bullishly or will it react bearishly just from the um, worries of uh, the economy overheating? Your guess is as good as mine. As a matter of fact, we could easily whipsaw both ways. As we have seen in the market, the market can really whipsaw here lately. So watch that carefully and closely. The way we actually open the morning is anybody's guess after we catch that number. So keep an eye on that. Then um, we do have a Fed speaker today, but I doubt we learn anything more from that as we move along. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar, still busy, but a significant um, pull down today on um, numbers, about 125 companies reporting today. Um, so we'll want to keep an eye on that, but the list is um, considerably less than we have seen here lately. Let's take a look at a few stocks that we want to be paying attention to. Take a look at CRON. Crone will be reporting today. Um, looks like it is pulling back this morning. And it's interesting that um, that's occurring. We, we heard... Um, TLRY was actually upgraded today. So cannabis has kind of got a mixed bag here this morning. Um, keep a close eye on that. How about CNK? CNK will be reporting today. It looks like it's looking for a little bit lower open. DKNG. DKNG reporting today. It looks like, um, well, kind of nothing happening there um, at the moment. Little pop, little drop, little going nowhere um, in that chart. Uh, keep an eye on that. We'll hear from Lear Jets today. Um, Lear will be reporting. Keep a, an eye on that. We'll also hear from Ruth Chris, the restaurant, the fancy steakhouse. 
Um, keep an eye on that, see how that reports today. That might be an interesting report. And last but not least, um, NKLA. I know there's been, this is one of those highly speculated stocks um, here recently. Um, NKLA will be reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. See if it can find some inspiration to rally from this point. So if you want to catch the full list of stocks that could be setting up, or I mean, um, um, that are notable this morning, please do me a favor and click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch that entire list. How about we take a look at some stocks that are setting up and are looking pretty good overall. Um, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you have seen uh, these videos if you can do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and if you feel the video is worthy in helping you uh, prepare for the day if you could please uh, click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment it helps the algorithms continue to show these videos to more folks and um, obviously that helps the subscribers grow so thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that i truly truly appreciate it i also want to say thank you to everyone who has uh, taken advantage of the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video supporting the channel that way um, helps an awful lot and i um, also um, I'm just humbled and truly appreciate everyone who takes the time. Who would have guessed we're, we're approaching 20,000 subscribers. I would have never guessed there would have been that much interest in content like this. And um, I, I, I truly am thankful for everyone um, who watches and participates um, with the channel. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at the stocks that could be setting up. And one thing I want to want to remind you of is that these are not recommendation to buy or sell any security. You should do your own due diligence and make sure you are never blindly following someone else's trade. Let's take a look at gold and silver. Um, oh my goodness, gold and silver got inspired yesterday. Um, really rallying. Notice we have a nice trend. Of course, this is one of those concerning stocks as well, or concerning areas as well. When we see gold and silver surge, surge like this, there is a probably a growing concern about inflation, growing concern of a market um, that may be overheating. So watch that closely. Gold and silver continuing to push up this morning. Now I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this pull back a little bit, particularly if bonds rise. If bonds rise today um, as a result of the numbers, that can have a negative effect on gold and silver. But I think it would be wise to keep an eye on these charts looking um, very, very strong. And I would suggest that gold has a possibility. This is a pattern that we call the rounded bottom breakout. And I'm not going to say that it's going to shoot straight up here to this 200 day moving average, but um, we could bounce around in here getting up there. But I would guess at this point, we're going to visit that 200 day moving average here in GILD in the not so distant future. Um, let's take a look at um, the uh, silver um, SLV also big surge yesterday um, showing strength. Now remember silver has a rather um, interesting um, dynamic in that it has a larger industrial use and with the building of all the electric vehicle cars silver will be in high demand um, also silver will have a, a major impact if we do actually start working on infrastructure keep a close eye on that silver is obviously in a nice little upside trend moving to the upside keep keep an eye uh, that we broke through that 50-day moving average we're holding it as support and we may have a target up in this area in this chart for the near and very near future so keep an eye on that silver looking very strong now that said you may want to take Take a look at some of the of the miners out there. Some of these miners are looking good. Uh, 
GDXJ, one of the junior miners ETFs, showing lots of bullishness here and pushed up yesterday and maybe trying to break through some resistance to the upside there. So watch that closely. Take a look at GOLD. Um, GOLD Berry Gold surging here yesterday, really, really strong. Note we have some resistance up here in that chart, but keep a close eye on it. Now staying with that metals idea, I think we should be keeping a close eye on um, copper. Copper, unbelievably strong here recently. Copper, um, year over year, it has surged a bunch. It's up 83% year over year and continuing to show strength. Um, again, a major demand is coming in on FCX and that's something we're going to want to watch, uh, particularly with production of EV ve vehicles and potential infrastructure improvements are very, very strong here. So watch this for any rest or pullback that would set up an opportunity. Switching from copper, we may want to be taking a look at steel. Take a look at Steel Dynamics. Really, really strong here recently in this move. You can see where I've had that alerted. We were watching this in here. Many members of RWO making money on this trade. So keep an eye on this. Any rest or pullback could set up an opportunity. And there are several stocks in this area. MT uh, showing lots of strength, breaking my alert here just a couple of days ago for the upside move. Um, yesterday I mentioned X. X received an upgrade, um, has uh, popped up strong on that upgrade, a little bit of resting pullback. This could set itself up pretty darn soon for that next upside move. Keep an eye on US Steel looking good overall. Um, I think we should also be kind of keeping an eye on that material sector. Um, uh, materials have been very, very strong and continue to show lots of strength. Take a look at Masco here. Beautiful upside move since my alert and just continues to show lots of upside strength. And you could easily jump into that entire sector and find quite a few stocks looking good. Another place that I've mentioned before is those defensive stocks, consumer defensive, and anything around food. Take a look at KHC. KHC has been extremely strong yesterday, breaking through this little gap resistance in the chart. Now, I would expect a rest or pullback to come in this stock relatively soon, but showing lots and lots of strength to the upside. Anything food related seems to be quite strong because our commodities prices have just, just been on a tear here lately. And speaking of that, take a look at DBC. DBC is a commodity tracking ETF. This thing is just soaring here lately. Again, don't chase this right now. Wait for the next rest for uh, that to potentially make an entry on. And last but not least, energy. Energy has uh, seen lots of strength here just recently. Wait for the next entry into this, but energy looking very, very good overall. Take a look at some of those companies. They're just um, uh, really, really strong in that oil sector. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And I also want to give you that reminder that I will be on vacation all next week. So there will not be morning market prep videos next week. And it'll be the first time in a very long time that I've missed a video. But I am going to try and get some videos posted that will drop during the week. So um, please watch for those. And I just want to say thank you so much um, for um, all the support of the channel. I truly appreciate it. And by the way, we are so close to that 20,000 subscriber. Um, if you guys would take the link of this video and post it out on some of your social media platforms, we might make it today. So thank you, everyone. Have a great, great week next week. Have a great day today. And we will see you bright and early. Um, well, let's see. What is that day that I am back? I'll see you bright and early with the next Morning Market Prep uh, video on May 17th. Take care, everyone. And I will talk to you all very soon.